Hello, welcome to the first session on mensuration. I had first considered taking up area of trapezium and a polygon, but before moving into that, um, let us take up few uh, word problems because if I, I mean, those word problems will be taking care of all the applications of the formula we know about, like uh, the perimeter and area of a rectangle. A perimeter and area of a square because if I note down on the formula together that won't help as much and then perimeter and area of a parallelogram all the basic shapes I'll be taking first and then rhombus as well then I can take up area of trapezium and polygon for the first few I will be taking up questions on these basic shapes a very simple question can be like a square or a rectangular field has been given which has been informed to be of um, suppose these I'll just not write maybe I'll make a figure here this is a square this is though they are not drawn accurately then that's an that's a rectangle supposedly this is informed to be 60 meter each side of this is suppose 60 meter on the other hand the rectangles length is given to be 80 meter right the other width is not informed, but it says that this square and the rectangle, they have the same perimeter and which we have to find which has a larger area. I just informed they have equal perimeter which has a larger area. Oh, why did a spell mistake there? It should be larger area. If they have the both, both of them have the same perimeter, that means perimeter of a square is given as 4L. This is equal to the perimeter of, that means it is 4 into 60. This should be equal to the perimeter of the rectangle, which can be given as 2 into length sorry plus breadth now why i'm calculating the breadth from this information because to find the area we need it so this is 240 and this divided by 2 will give us 80 plus b this is 120 and if i carry 80 here that will give us the width or the breadth so we am getting breadth as 40 meter if I'm getting breadth as 40 meter we now need to calculate the area of both the square and the rectangle I write here the area oh sorry the area of square and here I write area of the rectangle area of the square is l square so it is 60 square that is 3600 meter square on the other hand area of a rectangle can be given as length into breadth so it is l into b that is 3200 meter square so clearly the square has a bigger area we'll take few more questions the next one is here. It says the cost of turfing. I'll be using some short, you know, writing so that I can finish up uh, the question quickly. The cost of turfing a rectangular field at eighty-five paise per square meter is rupees 624.75 we have to find the perimeter of the field if its sides are in the ratio 5 is to 3 Oh, there is a mistake here regarding the uh, field spelling. Kindly ignore it. 
it says the cost of turfing the rectangular field that means if this is a rectangular field and you are turfing it that means you will take the area concern so area of this will be like okay, this is already informed that the fields are 5 is to in, in the ratio 5 is to 3 so our length might be taken as 5x and the width to be 3x so area of this field can be calculated as length into breadth so that is 15 sorry x square now this this is 15 x square and this is in meter square this is 15 x square at a rate of 85 paise gives us 624.75 this is what it informs because that at a rate of 85 gives us this so if i can sub uh, you know remove the decimals like 15 x square will be 624.75 both the decimals have two digits after them so i can uh, remove it so it is 15 x square is equal to 624.75 by 85 removing the decimals so x square is 624.75 by 85 into 15. If I cancel them, I will be getting x. Obviously, by finding the square root of it though. And let me see if 624.75 divided by 15 is giving me 4165 now 4165 if you cancel you will be getting by 85 you'll be getting 49 so x squared is 49 x will be square root of 49 and that's giving me 7 meter we have to find the perimeter of the field right finding the perimeter will be now x is uh, 7 so if i write it here like 5x becomes 7 into 5 that is 35 meter on the other hand this is 7, 3 into 7 this is 21 we have to find the perimeter which is given as i write here perimeter is equal to 2 into length plus breadth so it is 2 into 35 plus 21 35 plus 21 would give me 56 56 into 2 i think is giving me 112 meter so the perimeter is 112 meter let us take a few more questions. I go into the, the another screen. Sure, and I'll put up the next question. The dimensions of a sorry of a room are 16 14 and 10 meter these are the lengths breadth and height there are four windows of 1.3 meters 1.4 meters and two doors of 2 meter and 1 meter what will be the cost of 
white washing the walls and the and painting the doors and painting the doors and the windows if the rate of white washing is rupees 5 per square meter and the rate of painting is sorry is rupees 8 per square meter oh i need to put a question mark in this here the dimensions of the room are given now we have to separately calculate the area where it needs to be whitewashed and where it needs to be painted now area of the four walls of a room is 2 into length plus breadth into height we have to separate the area of the door area of two um, area of the four windows from it and then we can calculate area to be whitewashed so find area of the four walls of a room area of four walls of a room how do you write it 2 lb plus 2 bh no i think it is um sorry we will write it as it will then become uh, because we don't have the roof and the floor so there will be no length breadth so it is 2 Mm, bh breadth and height and then another two length and height so it can be now calculated here as 2 into mm, b is given as 14 height is given as 10 plus i could have also taken 2h common out there and so it is 2 into 16 into 10 thereby giving me 14 into 2 is 28 so 28 into 10 is 280 now 280 there it is 32 320 Hmm, thereby giving me six hundred, right? I did it all orally, and I write the answer here. It is six hundred meters square. Now we need to subtract the four windows. <coughs> sorry, which is at one point three into one point four. So one area of one window, I write here. Area of one window will be. 1.3 into 1.4, right? So that's 1.3 into 1.4, and that's giving me 1.82 square meters. We have four such windows, so it is multiplied to four. I'm not writing it orally; simply, uh, simply uh, telling you, and we'll be writing here the. area of the four windows now we also have two doors this is area of four windows right we now here calculate area of a door and then multiply it by 2 thereby getting getting the area of two doors so it is 2 multiplied to 2 that's giving me 4 square meter we have two such doors so thereby giving me no we did it for 
that is 2 into 1 sorry <coughs> I made a mistake it's 2 into 1 will be 2 and thereby having actually the answer will finally be this is 1 thereby getting this answer as 2 we have 2 such so this becomes 4 so it is 4 square meter now the area of as uh, so the sum of the area of door and window will be 7 0.28 plus 4 so it is 11.28 so I write area oh, oh sorry area to be white washed will be like the total area was 600 minus 7.28 and minus 4 thereby getting 588.72 square meters oh again there is a spell mistake it's a kind of not spell mistake I'm typing here it's a fight washed I write again though now this is to be uh, white washing is at an air uh, as a rate of 5 per square meter so at a rate of rupees 5 will be 29 it is 2943 point I guess 6 we also need to find the rate of along with the rate of painting so the total area to be painted area to be painted is 7.28 plus 4 that is giving me 11.28 this is at a rate of rupees 8 so this is multiplied by 8 will give us 90 sorry 90.24 24. we can find the <coughs> sorry so the total cost of painting and this will be once we add both of them I think I'll be getting I'm getting 3033.84 this is 3033.84 this is the total cost to be incurred hope you followed this we'll take more such questions in the next few sessions thank you